Hello friends, welcome to our channel UG Moldtech. Today we are going to learn about what is ejection system in injection mold. Okay. Once the mold open, the pit extended into the molding cavity pulls the part out. As you can see in the video, the materials filling from the machine nozzle it goes to the sprue to the cavity, and this ejection grid will pull out the parts. Okay. This is opening and the knockout route system and the product will move out. This is known as our ejection system in injection mold. Okay, this is the closed closed close mold. This is the open mold. You can see this is the fix. This is moving one. This is the ejector grid system we have. Both the sides spacer, ejector plate, ejector bed plate and pin. We can see in the 3D also. We will now move to the 3D. So friend, this is the 3D of our ejector grid system, ejector plate, ejector black plate, spacer. Okay, then I may make the transparent core so you can see the ejector pin also. Okay, going through the core plate which eject the parts. Okay, this is our ejector grid system. Okay, this is our ejector grid hook. You all are clear about this one. This is the ejection system on the injection molding. Okay, this is all about ejection system. For those who have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe to get latest update and videos. Okay, now we move on to the different pin ejector system. This is the most common ejection system. The first is straight pin. This is the straight pin. This is the shoulder, this is the sh shoulder pin, ejector blade, this is the ejector blade, sleeve pin, this is the sleeve pin, this is the shoulder pin. Okay, these are the various type of ejector system we have. Okay, now we move on to the what is straight pin. Okay. The straight ejector pin. It is a cylindrical ejector finish, finish component. Okay. In case of square and rectangular component, we use this one. The minimum four pins are required at four corner. Okay. And in the cylindrical, we put three minimum at 120 degree. This is the simple straight ejector pin. You can see here this one. And this is the various sizes we have. This is the pin size P. As the product increases, we can increase this dia. Okay, as well as length. This is the standard. Now we see in the 3D. So, friend, as you can see, this is our ejector pin, simple ejector pin. As for the product requirement, we increase the length or its dia. Okay, for our required required mode. Is a simple straight ejector pin we have. Hope it is clear about what is ejector pin, straight ejector pin. So friend, this is all about the straight ejector pin. We use normally this one. Next we move on to the shoulder ejector pin. Okay, this is the shoulder ejector pin. It is according to the requirement of the component where we have the thin. Okay. So we use these are the various parameters we can use in the shoulder ejector pin. Okay, now we move on to the 3D. So, friend, this is the 3D for the shoulder ejector pin. You can see it is just like straight ejector pin, but the according to the component, we require this type of ejector pins. This is shoulder ejector pin. Okay, hope you are all clear about shoulder ejector pin also. Okay, next we move on to the ejector blade. In this type of ejector system, ejector blades, this is there is a thin blade on the top. For example, we have a thin rectangular component. So, we use this type of thing. This type is prepared on thin rectangular cross-section rectangular blade are inserted in cylindrical pins for ejection. Okay. This is the ejector blade. Okay, there are various size and 
we can use this type of ejector blade now we move on to the 3d so friends you can see this is the 3d for the ejector blade this type of things are used for thin component okay it is also found in various sizes as required by the product okay hope you are all clear what is blade ejection so friends this is slip pin this type of ejection is preferred for cylindrical cores where the core is fixed on the bottom okay basically we use for the hollow component it will eject out the part you can see this pin this will be hollow it will be pushing the product out from the mold we will see in the 3d how it is so friend this is actually shoulder pin but for the understanding we i am showing you just it will be like this this will be the same one more pin will be there will be put out the product from the mold okay this is i make the transparent core so you can better understand this is the our ejector pin this is a shoulder but we are discussing about the sleeve ejection it will be hollow part it will be within it will be required for the specific product only so friends this is the 3d this is the sleeve ejection pin i have shown you this is the our pin which eject out the component okay from now this you can better understand what is sleep pin it is used for circular where it will be very deep so that we cannot use simple pins it will eject out the component mostly product okay now we move on to the other one hope this is cleared about the sleep pin okay then next one we move on to the shoulder sleeve okay this is the shoulder one can I see this is the shoulder one this is the various parameter we use okay according to the product we required now we see in the 3d so friends you can see this is the our shoulder you can see this is the shoulder rest is the same we discuss about the sleeve pin it will push out the component okay hope you are clear what is shoulder sleeve pin it is for the cylindrical part very deep okay deep rip we can eject out the component with this type of pins okay friend i think it is clear now we move on friend this is all about the different pins we have discussed today this is the most commonly used pin ejection system we have in the injection molding few points other i want to tell you the design of the ejection system affect the product quality and production efficiency we must design minimum 10 5 to 10 mm for the space for the ejection okay hope you have learned about what is the ejection system today of injection mold hope you see again bye